hello guys today in this video I'm going to show you how can we implement caching in node.js API so here what I'm going to do I'm going to use express API cache to implement it but before going forward I would like to request you all please subscribe my channel if you have not done yet because it's really very very important for me to gain the subscribers so now let's proceed with the implementation so you can see here this is the express api cache and here is the sample programs written to implement the same so here i will click on it to copy the this command basically this is the node command what we need to copy and you can see it is just click on it it will be copied okay and then we need to go ahead in the visual studio code and install it inside the project folder okay so i have just paste it and i have hit enter button here and it has started the installation and now installation is done and now what i need to do need to go again here and see the how it this has implemented so here i will just copy uh, this from here yes this is the code what we will copy here and I will go ahead and paste it at the top of this uh, complete con uh, page here and now again I will go back to this page to check how it has implemented and here I will you can see here it's cache 10 minutes that means this cache will be will keep the data for 10 minutes and then again it will allow it to uh, get the data from the database okay so here i will add it in our uh, yeah, in the method after authenticate okay so now that is all like what you need to do to implement the caching okay and here let me go through the code what i have written so here you can see first i am checking the pool connection and if there is an error then it will throw an error from here if it will not be an error then again it will get the data from the database let me also add here a log so that we can check everything you are fine now here i will enter the command and pim run build to build this project and now i will hit uh, i will enter and start and it will again start our api application and now i will go to the postman here and here i will try to access the same api and you can see i'm getting error because the token what i have passed is incorrect so first i will hit the login api get the new token and then i will go ahead and paste it in the same uh, with all users api here and you can see the whole data uh, will now come okay from the api and make sure you, you, you need to do make sure one thing the time which is 14 millisecond and now you can see the time is 7 millisecond okay so you can see the difference uh, before implementation i mean the first request because it will get from the database the data and the second request will come directly from the cache okay that, that that means second data is coming from the cache okay and you can see also the log it is working properly okay because you can see only we can see the log at line 31 is coming only one time that means for the first time it went to the database and after that it did not went to the database it the data is coming directly from the cache now you can see i am hitting trying to hit the api again and again but still it is not hitting the database because it is not taking time more than three or four seconds okay so the, like this you can implement the caching in the api so you can see i am keep hitting and every time i receive the response within three seconds or two seconds or max to max five seconds because a knock data is coming from the cache not from the data and you can also see the log we did not see any log which is at line th 3 1 okay we are we are able to see log only which is uh, showing me the email okay 
so basically i just want to say that it did not uh, hit the database okay so that's the main reason uh, i mean our main advantage of implementing the cache so that we don't want to uh, allow means to access the database frequently okay and take time to because it's just a simple small database that's why it is taking uh, it's just an example but it, it, this will be very beneficial when you are getting a huge amount of data like uh, thousands of data from a single request so this uh, trick will be i mean this cache implementation will be very beneficial for you okay so now let's see so basically i will also add this url in the description of this video okay from there you can go ahead and down install this package so that is all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys